we have witnessed Sunday today. So on behalf of all of you, I invite Natalie to come and share her faith. I also want to thank her. She has been doing this from yesterday, 5.30 onwards in all the masses. And I'm thankful because she made my job easy. Hey, Murray. And I am a member of St. Norbert's Parish and the core team leader for St. Norbert's Young Adult Group. I was invited to share a bit about my faith journey with you today. My faith has always been a pretty important part of my life. I grew up in a large Catholic family with seven siblings, and my parents took us to church, taught us about our faith, and prayed with my siblings and me. I always remember caring about my faith and being drawn to it. When I was younger, though, faith was simple. I believed without really questioning. I liked the certainty, and there wasn't much to challenge that certainty for me. Overall, I enjoyed the practices of my faith and worked hard to be a good person. While we attended church regularly, though, our fa faith in my family wasn't shared as much in a community beyond ourselves and close friends. We kept our faith practice more personal, even while being connected to our church and taking part in religious practice. This caused me to grow in a sense of independence, but never fully connected me to the universal church. In many ways, I think I always wanted a deeper connection to the church at large. Later, when I went to college, I found myself looking for a faith community, and I found it when I transferred to Immaculata. It was a new experience for me, but I got involved reading at Mass, taking part in service through campus ministry, and so on. It was an exciting time. When I graduated, though, things changed. It wasn't as easy to find that sort of community around me. The real world was complicated and messy, and I had to go looking for ways to integrate my work, my friendships, my faith, and my church. What with moving, short-term jobs, and what wound up being a pretty turbulent time in my life, things were challenging. By my late 20s, I still practiced my faith, but I didn't really want to connect with the parish yet. I didn't feel God's presence as I had when I was younger. And I'd gotten so focused on the work it took to be a good person that my faith had become a burden in many ways. When it came to Sunday Mass, I often roamed around to different parishes, kept a low profile, and tried to leave without getting to know anyone. This stealth approach wasn't exactly what I wanted, but my faith and my life were complicated at that time, and I didn't want to have to explain any of that to anyone in church. I felt as though I had to figure life out first before connecting with the parish. Strangely, even as I was avoiding that connection with the parish, I was still looking for a place where I could grow in my faith and connect with people. About four years ago, I randomly discovered St. Norbert's Young Adult Group for the, those in their 20s and 30s. When I went to the group's weekly faith sharing for the first time, I knew no one, and I got lost trying to find the youth room where we meet. After almost bailing, I went in for the first time and was hooked. The group, and particularly Joe Abraham, who was in charge of it at the time, were so welcoming that I felt immediately at ease. I knew right away that small group discussion about my faith and the spiritual life in a non-threatening environment was totally my speed. In the time following that, the young adult small group has become a place where I could reflect on my faith in our weekly discussions of the Gospels. I didn't feel pressured to share anything that I didn't want to or to already have my life figured out. While going to Mass had sadly lost some of its joy for me at that time in my life, though I still went weekly as a matter more of duty, the faith-sharing group was a place I could reconnect with that joy and deepen my relationship with God. From that community grew some great friendships and awesome experiences. A few months after I started going, Joe Abraham invited me to be on the core team for the group 
and to help with facilitating discussions on Tuesday nights, and I agreed. It became a truly rewarding experience, giving me the chance to turn around and extend the same hospitality to others that I had received in the group. At times, I felt a bit inadequate or a bit of an imposter, helping lead a faith group when my own faith often felt so flimsy and flat. But deep down, I think I knew that leading didn't mean that I or any of the core team had it all figured out, but just that we cared and were willing to lean into the uncertainty about our faith and stay with our faith even in the messiness. About two years after I had started coming to the group, Joe Abraham tragically passed away unexpectedly due to a heart defect. One Tuesday night, he did not show up for faith sharing group, leading us to try to contact him and failing that to eventually call 911. When we heard the news, we were stunned and devastated. But even that night, I was continually comforted by the community he had so lovingly cultivated. From talking about his life to remembering his fun quirks and random jokes, we couldn't help but see that God had truly worked through Joe's life in so many ways and that he was continuing to do so even after Joe's death. In the last few years, the young adult group has picked up where Joe left off to continue the ministry and keep it as a place where young adults can share their faith journey with others weekly. For myself, the last four years of involvement with the group have allowed me to really reflect on and consider the person God is calling me to be. Through the group and through many other experiences in my life during that time, I found God bringing the joy back into my faith. With that has come the ability to relax a bit, to let go of the need to have it all together, and mostly to realize that God's love and mercy are far more important to my faith than all of my best efforts to be the perfect person. With that has come more mercy and openness to others. Accepting my own imperfection has made me more comfortable with others' struggles. It's still a challenge at times, but I'm continually working to let go of the focus to fix myself and instead focusing on meeting God face to face, one moment, one day at a time. With my involvement in the young adult group, it made sense to make this my parish. But I also was drawn to the parish's welcoming atmosphere, the continued opportunities for growth, and the solidarity with those in need. I love the vision of the parish with its goal of becoming one in Christ as a community of fervent disciples who listen attentively for the guidance of the Holy Spirit and who lovingly embrace Jesus, present in the poor, the alienated, and the spiritually hungry. Becoming involved here has allowed me to know so many people in the parish and learn from them. From Mass to parish celebrations to the individuals I meet, I have stopped running from the community experience I always wanted to find. Now, when I come on a Sunday, it feels like home. Thank you.